the real mass 2016 has officially been launched the hiv aids response unit advises precaution during mass dominic 2016 and the ross university class of 2020 donned with white coats thank you for joining us on another edition of national focus i'm kimani senja and i'm jana hector stay with us for details of these and other stories after the break child abuse is unacceptable child abuse is not cultural it is criminal and one child abuse is one too many. For more information on child abuse or to report suspected cases on child abuse, contact the Social Welfare Division on 33 Great Marlboro Street or call 266-3020 or 266-3080. Welcome back. Mass Dominic 2016 officially kicked off on Saturday with a parade through the streets of Roseau. Following the parade, an official ceremony took place at the forecourt of the Windsor Park Sports Stadium. This year's carnival has even more special meaning because it is the first official entertainment event undertaken by the government since the events of August 27th last year. The theme for this year's carnival is also very significant, the spirit of the real mass, as it is calling all to revel in a special way. For some it will be the t-shirt bands on Monday or the color and splendor of the bands on Tuesday. For others it will be the tradition in their sensei. For some it will be juve, yet for others pageantry, and for others bouillon and calypso music. Some will choose to reflect the spirit of carnival past, and yet others a spirit of carnival to come. However you choose to participate, that is exactly what we want you to do. We want you to participate, to join in the festivities and to be active. Whether you are in a band or in the sideline, make sure you take lots of pictures and post them so that people know that our culture is alive in the nature of the Honorable Minister for Trade, Energy and Employment, Ian Douglas, representing the Honorable Minister for Culture, Justina Charles, commended the citizens who came out in large numbers to be part of the opening parade. Carnival is a part of our history, coming all the way back from the emancipation of slavery. Carnival is a part of our culture. Carnival is a part of our heritage. Carnival embodies and exemplifies who we are as a people a west indian people a people coming out of the middle passage from africa to the caribbean a people forging a civilization after emancipation and an independent and free people and the world over looks to the caribbean when it comes to having a good time when it comes to carnival when it comes to our culture and i must say in dominica we have embraced our culture from independence and what we do we follow of all of our cultural art forms from belle quadrille the work do at the ted Cassé, right into carnival he also highlighted the communities which continue to do their part to keep dominica's history alive all of the communities that keep the traditional art form of carnival alive and i saw some of them on the road the kalinago people for keeping the kalinago culture strong and alive the duckies from good hope and i saw your parliamentary representative beating the lapo cabbage with you and that's great when our leaders can come out and celebrate and be with our people the the uh, masqueraders from Collie Ho, I saw you, and all of the other band movies and the Lapo Cabwits, the Sugar Fire from Marigot, I think the Newton Lapo Cabwit was on the road, and um, Sakis from Grand Bay. I cannot call all of them, but you know yourselves. The Sensei from St. Joseph, all of you all, and even the Sensei from Grand Bay, all of you all who continue to keep the history, the culture, the heritage alive. I salute you. The Honorable Minister also applauded the private sector for its support to Dominica's culture. I salute the government of Dominica 
and the leadership of this country for continuing to invest in our people for continuing to pump millions of dollars into making activities like carnival the success that they continue to be and for all of you all in the private sector like flow and all of the others Kyrie fm dbs all of the other sponsors who year in year out pump your hard-earned dollars into our cultural art forms like carnival i salute you because without your investment without the funding and without your finance our carnival will not be what it has grown to be with the launch of mass dominic 2016 comes the warning to be sexually responsible According to the acting coordinator of the National HIV AIDS Response Unit, Alison Samuel, festive time is usually synonymous with drinking and moral liberation. She told GIS News that festive times therefore also mean more reminders from the HIV Response Unit. We want people to remember that our prevention message is always abstain, which is, you know, the most and the only secure way to protect yourself from any form of STI but we know that at those times most people will not think about abstinence so the next best message is to be faithful in spite of how drunk you may get or how excited you get about the shows that you attend and your friends that you are partying with remember that you left a partner at home or you have a partner somewhere that you want to remain faithful to and of course we always say that if you are going to indulge in a sexual encounter which just happened to you meaning that you, it was unplanned then ensure that you have a condom available because condoms will protect you it, it provides this barrier between your body and an infection you know an infectious agent like a virus or a bacteria nurse samuel emphasized that even condoms must be closely scrutinized that's very important to us when we speak of condoms because the integrity of a condom ensures that you are protected okay the integrity of the condom has to do with the expiry date so always ensure that the condom that you are carrying is not expired in terms of being stored properly if a condom is stored where there's a lot of warmth for example people just put condoms in the glove compartments of the vehicles because of the additional heat that the vehicle will generate when it's parked particularly in sunlight then you find that the condom begins to disintegrate and you may not know because it's packaged and you think because it's packaged that you open the package and the condom is okay and then you will come and then you will see of course I use the condom but it burst and we always say to the audience we speak with a condom doesn't burst that easily because your entire fist can fit into a condom is going to be stretched and it will still not burst. In fact, we use that as demonstration. And so we know that any time a condom bursts, it means the integrity was affected. She said further that it is important that users refrain from borrowing condoms. Whenever you pick up a condom in your hand and you are about to open it, you need to feel to ensure that the air has not left the condom. Sometimes what people do, if they want to be malicious, or they want to get somebody pregnant, they may have injected little holes in the package. That is one way that you can check for integrity. You hold on to the condom. If the air escapes, it means that it is not a condom that you should be using. If it is your condom, you know that you've kept it safe, you know that you've protected it, you know that you've not harmed it in any way, meaning damaged it in any way. And so whenever you present this condom to be used at a sexual encounter, you know that it is a condom that is good and has not been affected. <laughs> the HIV AIDS Response Unit wants the general public to know that HIV isn't the only threat. Sexually transmitted infections are reasons to be on guard. Usually, most people think about HIV, but if somebody comes a positive for HIV, it means that if you've been exposed to the virus, you might have been exposed to other viruses or even other bacterial infections. So for example, gonorrhea is bacterial. If somebody has been exposed to HIV, you need to be screened generally for STI. And that means gonorrhea. You may have um, trichomonas. You may you have a host of others, herpes, you know, which you may not actually see with your physical eye. And then it's there, it's, you don't know. And so you've been exposed to not just one sexually transmitted infection, but a lot more. 
The coordinator adds that sexually transmitted infections are common enough to cause concern. For the Real Mass 2016, the HIV AIDS Response Unit will be distributing condoms and lubricants to carnival bands. The Ross University School of Medicine Class of 2020 put on their white coats for the first time last Friday. The ceremony took place at the Ross University Annex where His Excellency the President of Dominica, Charles Savre and Mrs. Savre were invited guests. The Honorable Minister for Tourism, Senator Robert Tong, represented the Honorable Prime Minister at that event. Dean and Chancellor of Ross, Dr. Joseph Flaherty, was honored by the President's attendance and stressed the significance to the incoming students. Having uh, spent many years in Chicago and having known uh, President Barack Obama when he was a state senator, I invited him every year to our white coat and every year to our graduation. He's too busy. Uh, President of Dominica comes here. Take that as a very important and serious sign, as do many other ministers of the state. They are invested in you. They're invested in Ross. They're invested in you. So are we. Every one of you should make it. It was Mayor of Portsmouth, His Worship Titus Francis, who welcomed the new students to the Nature Isle. I urge you from the onset to focus on your studies, focus on your work, but at the same time, there's also be going to be an opportunity for you to let your hair down, so to speak. And that is where Dominica becomes the gem. There are a number of historic scenic sites for you to visit. You may have seen some of them already. But I urge you in your free time, as groups, as individuals, to get to know Dominica. Visit the Kalinago territory. Visit our historic sites, even in Portsmouth. We have the Cabrits National Park. We have, in just further north, the Capuchin Heritage Site, which is the Kana Park. And a number of beautiful natural sites, including the Indian River, which is close by. I invite you to acquaint yourself with one of the most pleasant people in the world, Dominicans. Professor Dr. Nancy Selfridge narrated a presentation to the aspiring doctors hoping to inculcate in them the significance of the white coat. Here's a short clip. Today is the very last day you're going to wear your white coat in celebration. After this, it becomes work clothes. And what does that mean for you? Well, this is going to be a form of team uniform. When you put your white coat on, you're a member of a much larger team. Many of those people also wear white, but other colors as well now. A cloak of healing and a garment of trust, those are symbolic. That's what the white coat means to a lot of people. The white coat signifies the class's entry into the medical profession. To herald that occasion, Associate Professor Dr. Ricardo Hood introduced the students to the physician's prayer. I prepare myself now for my calling. Stand thou by me in this great task, so that it may prosper. For without thine, eye, thine aid, man prospers not, even in the smallest thing. Mayor of the City of Roseau, Her Worship Irene John, made a special appeal to Dominicans to do their part and keep the city clean during the festive season. She was speaking at the official opening ceremony of Mass Dominic 2016 on Saturday. Let me take the opportunity to welcome in a special way visitors and Dominicans returning to our shores who are among us to enjoy themselves and to make Carnival 2016 what we really want it to be. I am appealing to everyone living in and around the city to please manage their waste properly in order to make the city the type of city that we want it to be with and without Carnival. You're watching National Focus. More when we return. The black feet of fungus can survive on banana and plantain leaves, 
even after they have been cut from the tree. Farmers and hucksters are encouraged to use alternate cushioning material when moving produce from farm to the market. Do not use banana and plantain leaves as cushioning. It is against the law to move banana and plantain trash from the field. Obey the law and stop the spread of black sikatuka today. Welcome back. The Honorable Minister for Tourism and Urban Renewal, Senator Robert Tong, says while other countries are reducing their carnival budgets, the government of Dominica is maintaining its commitment to the art form. Senator Tong was speaking at the official opening of Mass Dominic 2016 on Saturday. Dominica's carnival is deemed to be the most spontaneous carnival in the world where anyone has the ability to take part in the carnival. In many other countries, you have to be part of a band. But in Dominica, you can be a bystander and just jump in the band and have a wonderful time. This being said, the government of Dominica continues to be resolute and committed to supporting the carnival event and many other cultural events. While in many other large countries they've been cutting on expenses, the government of Dominica saw it fit to not reduce the amount of money they, they, they commit towards the hosting of this event. And as you can see from this wonderful location, we are upgrading where we have our events so that you, the patrons, are much more comfortable. The tourism minister called for full participation from citizens. He also commended the Dominica police force for their good work so far. We want you all to work together to make Carnival a success by being part of this event. Join a band, create a group, attend the shows, line the streets, and cheer the parade. This year, I want to commend the police department for ensuring that they're on the ball, and I can assure you that there'll be a lot more cameras around Roso, and there'll be a lot more police patrols to ensure that you and our visitors are safe in our beautiful island of Dominica. And finally, hundreds of tourists brightened the port on Saturday when the Carnival Dream made its first and only call to Dominica this cruise season. The largest vessel in the Carnival fleet, the Carnival Dream, a truly dreamlike ship, brought 3,700 guests and 1,300 crew to the Nature Isle. Interestingly, the ship, which is based in New Orleans, the city famous for Mardi Gras, docked here on the day of the opening of Carnival. Today, the mayor will be handing over the keys of the city to the Fort Carnival. And it's certainly a pleasure to, to have you here, Captain, uh, on that day. And as may have been hinted earlier, the Carnival uh, Parade uh, will be passing through this area near uh, the port. And so your passengers will be able to have a glimpse of, you know, the sort of Carnival celebrations that we're going to have come uh, Carnival Monday and Tuesday, uh, which is the same day as I know in New Orleans, they have the Mardi Gras um, on, on that day, but we have two days of festivity. We do hope that with the volumes of passengers going ashore today, that they will certainly come back with very pleasant memories, and that um, during their, their, their appraisal, I would call it, of Dominica, that we would get very good scores so Carlos and the rest of the guys back in the office could certainly say well look we need to add some more calls the visitors were warmly welcomed with traditional drumming permanent secretary in the ministry of tourism gerard jajak represented the honorable tourism minister senator robert tong we believe that this destination well, you may have heard of every island say it's unique, it's unique. Every, every island says mine is unique. But you would see that um, the mountains in Dominica are taller, the covering of vegetation is denser, it's more green, it's more protected. We are very passionate about our, 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 our dive capabilities. Um, there are a number of sites on the water where you could actually visit. And if there are any crew members here who would want to do some diving, uh, you would be, you'd be blown away at the size that we have underwater, as well as, of course, if you were to do some hiking or um, want to enjoy the spas that we have. So this destination, you will find Captain and your crew to be the most unique, specially placed for future visits of the Carnival Dream. Ship's agent, Wichert Shipping, represented by Kira Thompson-Ed, 
also joined in bidding welcome. We have a long-standing history with Carnival. It was due to Carnival that the cruise ship uh, industry in Dominica really took off, and which we're just proud to have been a, a partner in that uh, venture, and allowing the cruise ship industry to flourish in Dominica with support naturally from um, DASPA, Discover Dominica Authority, the Ministry of Tom uh, Tourism, and the Government of Dominica. So it is a wonderful, wonderful thing for us to welcome you once again. Welcome to Dominica. <laughs> Captain Itore Bovo was pleased to be back on Dominica after 25 years. As I was approaching this morning uh, Dominica, well, it was, uh, uh, I had a bit of emotion because uh, I was feeling a little bit younger. I used to come here 25 years ago with a small <laughs> tank. Uh, yeah, uh, north, a uh, little bit north here of Russo. And uh, well, uh, and now I am I'm coming here uh, calling uh, Russo with the beautiful ship, uh, the the largest vessel in the carnival fleet, so proudly I'm coming here as this beautiful vessel as a captain. And uh, yes, I have always been attracted by the, these beautiful islands, by this beautiful island, by the Vinita, by the mountains, and uh, well, I look forward, uh, hopefully, in the future for many more goals in, in this beautiful island. As usual, there were exchanges of tokens to commemorate the occasion. Before we leave, an announcement from the Dominica Social Security. Applications are invited from suitably qualified persons to serve as community compliance officers in the following geographical areas. Pocasse to Pegua Hatton Garden Bridge via Kalinago Territory, including Casa Bruce, Good Hope, San Sauver, and Petit Soufrire. Born to Point Baptiste Hodges, including Thibault to Penville, Benz, etc. Tibet to Indian River and Sunshine Village, including cruise ship berth, to Kapushin. Qualification requirements an associate's degree in business administration or management, supported by relevant experience in investigative work and or debt collection. The ideal candidate should be tactful and possess good oral and written communication skills. Applicants must be resident in any of the communities within the general area to be serviced and must also be in possession of a valid driver's license and be the owner of a motor vehicle. Mature individuals with good interpersonal skills are required to submit applications and a recent police record addressed to the Director, Dominica Social Security, Box 772, Roseau. Closing date for receipt of applications is Friday, 22nd January 2016. And that's the news. Consider becoming a more proactive person. Coming up next. Being proactive means thinking and acting ahead of anticipated events. This means using foresight. Not only is it a great method for avoiding more work down the road, but it can be extremely important for averting disasters. Planning well for the future, work, study and at home can make life easier, not just for you but for others too. As a matter of fact, many look up to proactive people to instigate action and come up with creative ideas. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website, news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica and follow our Twitter at gisdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I'm Joanna Hector. And I'm Kimani Seja. Thanks for watching and join us again next time on National Focus.